Hey cousin, uh, congratulations. You're one of the few people who have been around here longer than I have. I've been in Congress 33 years and went to law school back here prior to that. McConnell's been here longer than I've been here. 50 years in which Washington's residents have relied on Dave McConnell's rich and resonant voice to deliver the most important news of the day. And he's now been doing that for an astounding half a century. In 2015, he is the only remaining full-time local radio correspondent on Capitol Hill, a testament to his staying power in the age of the internet and 24-hour cable news. You look up the definition of political coverage of Capitol Hill or news coverage of Washington in the dictionary, you'll find two words, Dave McConnell. Your career has been nothing short of, of remarkable. 12 presidents, five inaugurations. Gosh, I think you remember Calvin Coolidge. Those of us that know Dave and work with him on a regular basis uh, know that he has the nicest way of asking the toughest questions you're ever going to get. He always gets to the truth, but he does it fairly and he does it professionally. Each time I know that the subject is going to be treated fairly. You have set the, the highest standards of uh, journalism and integrity, and I thank you for that. I was privileged to honor Dave in 2013 at the Radio Television Correspondence Dinner, where he was presented with its Career Achievement Award, a much-deserved honor. Dave is the only reporter I know who can capsulize the day's news in a couple of sentences and leave us with all we need to know. From the war on ISIL to the problems facing Metro, Dave helps keep his listeners in Northern Virginia, D.C., and Maryland well-informed. He is well-liked. I, I think everyone will take Dave's call. He's probably the most consistent, reliable, dependable news person up on Capitol Hill. Those of us who have been privileged not only to listen to Dave, but to be covered by him know that Dave McConnell is as incisive and fair as it gets. The outpouring of well wishes to Dave on this great milestone is a testimony not simply to his career's longevity, but to its quality. His has been a voice of common sense, moderation, and fairness, and reasoned judgment at a time when partisanship and hyperbole have sadly too often crept into the journalistic coverage of our politics. He's terrific. At a press event, whenever he raises his hand, I always go to him because he asks hard questions, but they're fair. I like him very, very much. He's been an asset to the industry that we call the press. Happy 50 years, Dave. I really appreciate the contribution that you have made uh, to public service. Thank you, Dave, for 50 years uh, of honing your prodigious talent to a landmark of unbiased reporting. And I look forward to talking to him in the halls of Congress, sometimes maybe avoiding his sharp questions for many more years to come. Congratulations, Dave. And we look forward to many more years of working with you and, frankly, many more years of your audience enjoying your professional reporting. Thank you for your important contributions as a bridge between the Congress and the people we represent. Happy 50th anniversary. I look forward to working with you for the next 25 years. He has been someone that dignifies the press and I wish him the very best. Congratulations and thank you, Dave, for your decades of dedicated service to your listeners and to our country, and for 50 years of breaking the news with WTOP.